And it's all about having a fantastic pasta dough. That's what makes the difference between having a really enjoyable day of creativity and having a really hellish day of, uh, of, of tearing your hair out. If your pasta dough is too dry, um, deal with it. There's absolutely nothing more infuriating uh, and unproductive than trying to just think it'll be all right because it just will not be all right. Pasta is very, it's not an exact science, but if, you, if, you, if you're outside the boundaries of, of, of okay, you're gonna have a really miserable time in the kitchen. That, that, that is for sure. Okay, flour. Salt. Squid ink in this case. About one egg yolk's worth. Keep the recipe balanced. Blend. Always with a machine running. The key thing is just to add 90-95% of the egg uh, and oil mix to the flour in the first instance. That'll probably mean it's a little bit too dry. If you then add the remainder of it and it's still a little bit too dry, it's feeling a little bit dry, it's just not going to quite come together. Then uh, it doesn't really matter what you add at that point. You've got 95% of the recipe as correct as it should be. What you're really trying to do is just add a little bit more moisture. You can see that, it just made it a bit darker. I haven't added any more squid ink, but the flour has now become completely coated in, in the ink mix. You still see it's not soft and wet, but what it is, is one lovely homogenous dough. Pasta dough is very different to, to bread dough in, in, the, in this fact that you do not have to work the gluten in the pasta dough anywhere near to the extent that you do in bread dough. All you're trying to do is bring it together into a homogenous dough and at that point you stop. It'll get a little bit further worked when it goes through the machine and in the minimum of two hours that the pasta dough needs to rest, the flour and the egg and the oil will come together as one absolutely sufficiently during that resting time. <laughs>